Hi guys, so in this video, we're going to have a look at how we can add animation to our toolkit. So uh, to add your animations, what you need to do is you need to select, so I'm in the minimal style right in here. Uh, of course, if you would like to tweak the, the glass box style, you need to go to the glass box style. But just keep in mind that if you are going to tweak the actual 3D animation, you need to go to the tweak 3D glass box animation here. So you have a small note in here, just, just as a reminder. So let's jump back to the minimal style and uh, I'm going to work in this. So uh, in here you have the 3D artwork animation. So this is the artwork in here. Let's click on that and to add animations, you need to go to the animation presets to the folder that you have installed earlier. And I'm going to select an in animation. And let's select this one. So pop in from the left and where the pointer is, the animation will fall. So if we double click on that and you can see the animation right over there. Perfect. So let's make this to quarter and remove motion blur just so we can preview this a little bit faster. But as you can see, there it is. And if we hit U on our keyboard, we can see our keyframes right over there. So that's the in animation in there. Now you can do some, some other things in here. So uh, you can, for instance, uh, move, move this after to the left, for instance. So to do that, we have another, you have the 3D secondary animation. And let's say, let, let's say we give it, for instance, some, uh, an oscillation, for instance. So move up and down, oscillate. And for the second animation, I'm simply going to double click on that. And now, as you can see, it will keep moving up and down. Our, our artwork will keep moving up and down, as you can see. Perfect. Now, uh, you have the option as well to, to tweak the artwork position. So uh, let's make sure that that is visible. So you can simply place this wherever you like, just like that. And you can even keyframe this, so if, so you can keyframe that, or else you can add animations from here as well. And display element position, the same way you can move this or add your own animations. So for instance, right now, if I wanted to pop in from below, you can add something like, so select that and let's go to start and pop in from below. And as you can see, it has went to right over here. If that happens, simply hit you on your keyboard to open up the keyframes, go to the last keyframe in here. And while you have all the keyframes selected, make sure that all of them are selected. Simply reposition it so that it's the value is zero in here just like or where you want it to be. Just make sure that all the keyframes are selected. And like that, you can see that is working as well. So that's how you add animations. Now you can add more elaborated animations in here. For instance, you can, uh, after this moves in, you can even add it, move it to the side for instance. So you have the global position for that. And let's hit P in here, so see this. And for that, we have from object animations in here, we have movement animations. And we have things like, for instance, move left. So if we decide to want it to move left around here, simply pick that, double click on that, and it will move left. Now, by default, it will come to the middle in there. So just as we did before, simply go to the first keyframe, make sure that all the keyframes are selected and move that where you want it to be. Just like that. And 
and as you can see the the animation is happening a little bit too much in here so in that case simply go to the last keyframe and move it where you want it to be just like that and like that you can see how that is working and then you can choose to move it back to the right for instance choose animation for that and do what you want in here like that so uh, let's move it a little bit more in here so that's it for the animation you can do the exact same things for the for the glass, glass boss style in here just keep in mind that for the 3d part you need to do it right over here then if i then the last thing that we can have a look at is the the actual scene scene elements in here so if we go to the the next video we will have a look how we can add the scene elements